I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, your host for Make It Artsy. Our daily lives can always use a little shaking up, and we begin with zines created from events. So what is a zine? Well, essentially, it's a small book, and very often it's something that you create by yourself that's meant to be self-published. So here is a zine that I made of just little um, gelatin prints of all kinds. They're like little art pieces. It's a small book, and as a companion piece, here is basically a copy of it. So this is the original artwork done on heavy paper, and then I simply took a sheet of paper, printed it out onto that paper, and it becomes a book. That's so cool. And this is why people trade zines online, they sell them, they do all sorts of stuff with them. It's a great way to express yourself, and you can see how easily and quickly it becomes a book, it's like magic. But the zines that we're creating today require almost no supplies because I'm a great believer in just working with what you have. So we are making some little zines, which you can see I have right here. So the first scene I made is about my baby's lockdown friend. So I have a seven month old baby and he has really not seen a lot of the big great world. So some of his friends include green bag, he likes to also visit Garbage Can. They have a good time hanging out. Uh, Target Spatula is a favorite friend of his. Table Leg also gets a lot of attention. Uh, bookshelf, he likes to sort of interact with that as well. And his brand new friend this week has been Colander, a fine friend. And you can see that these are just the little things from my daily life, but it makes for a really great little memory in lieu of a scrapbook or something like that about it. Um, here's one that I made um, on my way coming here. I call it my pandemic packing list. What are the things that I needed to bring with me that I've never had to think about before? So rubber gloves, and I did some journaling about them, masks, uh, alcohol wipes, hand sanitizer, a pillowcase and blanket and plastic bags, all those things that you might think of. And again, these are simple drawings that don't require a lot of work. And then finally, I made a countdown zine that was totally inspired by the number of days that I have here before I get to go home and see that little baby. So you can see it starts with one, then two, then three, then four. And this is nothing prophetic or forward thinking, but it's just a fun way to make art with very few supplies. So let me show you how to get started. In Essentials, what you do is you take a regular sheet of just eight and a half by 11 paper. I am going to fold it. Actually, let me put the cutting mat under here so that you can see it a little bit better. I think maybe not against a white surface. It'll be a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to fold it in half the long ways. And you can take your time to really fold it carefully or not. Totally up to you. You can also use a bone folder if you wish to make your creases a little bit more secure. You can also use this magical tool attached to your body. So then I'm going to unfold this. And I'm going to fold it the short way. So we fold it in half the short way. And again, I can bone folder it. And then I can fold back each half just like so. And this is true if any zine usually that you download or anything like that, you can do the same exact process with. Then to make it turn into a book, we need to make a cut. And it's just one single cut. You don't even need a ruler. But essentially, I want to cut between this point and this point, okay? Between these two folds, just along this line. So I'm gonna use my craft knife. You could also use scissors if you wanted. And just following that line, I'm going to slowly cut, 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 just to get that nice cut in there. So here we go. I have my single sheet of paper with a single cut from here to here. When I fold it up, you can see it makes like, I think of like a mouth something like that, and I push it in just like this, and it becomes a book. You just wrap it around and use your bone folder to help you out. Now, I have drawn a little handy dandy guide for you here to show you when you are designing your zine exactly how it works. You can see the back cover, the front cover, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, and page six. So that means that when you unfold your book to work on it, you can work in it folded, but I find it a lot easier to work in it unfolded. I know just from looking at here exactly what each page is gonna be, because as soon as I fold it up, it follows that exact same right formula. So let me just unfold this. 
and let's start. So when you're thinking about everyday things that you want to memorialize, don't think of something grand or special. What did you eat today? So this zine could be called Things I Ate Today. And literally in my own handwriting, I'm just gonna write out things I ate today. And then maybe date it. This is July 2020. Okay, if you wanna make it fancy, you can do simple things like, look at that, I drew a line. And now it looks a lot fancier. If you wanna get really fancy, I drew two lines and I drew three lines. You know, you don't have to do a lot to make something really look great. There you go. Now, don't worry about drawing. What's something that I ate today? I had, uh, I had a Klondike bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I had my ice cream bar right here and I'm going to draw it. What does it look like? Mm, it looks like kind of a square like this with a bite out of it. And we can make it a little bit more square. But again, this doesn't need to be an amazing drawing. That's enough to remember exactly what it looked like. What else did I eat today? I had a burrito bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. Now, do I need to draw every component perfectly? No, and notice I'm not using a pencil first. I'm going ahead with my pen. And these are the kind of things that I like to do you know, when I'm in a hotel room, when I'm just sitting waiting for something. But you know, if you ask me, what does a burrito bowl look like? It kind of looks like this. Maybe it has some of this. It looks a little bit like this. And if my drawing isn't clear, I can say, this is chicken. This is rice. I had some sour cream. You don't have to think a lot about what you're doing. You just have to sort of have fun with it. This is veggies. And I can add my journaling, which might just be yum. Then remember, looking at my guide here, I need to turn it around because the other pages face the other way. So I'm gonna turn it around. What else did I eat today? I definitely had several bottles of water. What does a water bottle look like? Does it really matter? You're just getting sort of the gist of it. And if it doesn't totally look like what it's supposed to, then I can force it to. Look at this, I'm just gonna write H2O. Now nobody's gonna come on this and think that it's an amazing exact rendering of water, but they're gonna get the idea and they're gonna be interested in it. What else did I have? I also had soda. So it is hard to stay away from. But you can make your drawing more fancy if you wanna add color, less fancy if you don't care. You can do whatever it is that you want. I'm gonna draw that little tab. And then I had a straw in my soda and it was a bendy straw. That seems like something that I want to commemorate because you know, a bendy straw is kind of a special thing. So then you would just keep moving through and creating all the different little parts, not worrying about drawing, but just thinking about how to have fun. You can also have a sense of humor about it. Something else I ate today, my fingernails. <laughs> because you know, if you have a habit of biting your nails or anything like this, you can say, nail, a habit I need to stop. So that zines are meant to be fun. And they're meant to be funny. I read a zine the other day that somebody had done that said places I've thought about napping since becoming a mom and the first place was a pile of laundry. So you really can play around with it. What else is something that I've eaten today? Um, and you can just draw out whatever it was, carrots. And you can have some fun. And it also is helpful to learn to draw and it helps you keep track of your memories in kind of a new, and fun way. And you can write comments about them. Carrots, they're good for the eyes. Then on the back cover, I personally like to make sure that I use my name. So I'll say a zine by, and then put my name in. And you can, of course, again, get very fancy with supplies. You can use all kind of markers and pens, whatever it is that you want. And I do sometimes like to leave a message at the end. I'm not gonna take the time to do that today. We're just gonna fold it up, wrap it around, and check it out. You have an amazing little book. Zines are a super easy way to commemorate your daily life.